What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a virtual webcam so that when you have a video conference call with your boss or with your uh, working colleagues or friends you can put up an image of yourself or a video of yourself to make it look like you're in the conference call when you're really not. This uh, strategy seems to work pretty well. It's using all free software that I'm going to show you how to download, install, and use. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is install OBS, Open Broadcast Software. There is a link in the description below to download that. Um, and once you have it installed, uh, you'll get a user interface similar to what I have here. You'll notice at the bottom, in the bottom left, there's a couple of options and a couple of boxes. So you have the Scenes box and the Sources box. The Scenes allow you to create different scenes to record from. So you can see here I have the desktop, a fake webcam, my actual webcam, and then a gaming a scene. Before we start adding scenes into that, you're going to need to download a utility called Virtual Cam. It's a plugin for free that allows you to take any multimedia source and turn it into a fake webcam. So to download that, you're going to go to the obsproject.com and uh, download the virtual cam. I'll link this in the description below so you can go to it quickly. Once you have that downloaded and installed, it'll load directly into OBS. So you won't have to um, do anything other than click on the download, install it, it's automatically added. After you have that added into the software, we are going to make a scene set up specifically for your webcam. So to do that, you're going to click on the little plus button down below the scenes dialog box. You can rename that to whatever you want. I'm not going to rename it right now, but we've created our scene, scene two in my case. Under sources, we're going to hit plus. We are going to select a video capture device. And you can rename that to whatever you want. You could rename it to webcam, hit okay. And then you can choose here what you would like to use. In my case, I have a Logitech webcam. I would typically choose that. I'm not going to do it now. Um, but in your case, you would select your webcam. You'd hit OK. Your webcam would pop up in this uh, area. And you could hit Start Recording. And it would start recording your webcam, a picture of your face, for you to save. And that will be the multimedia source that we will use within the virtual cam plugin to fool somebody. So um, I already have one set up. You can see here, this is a quick preview. This is not me in real time. This is my fake webcam that I've set up to loop over and over. So it looks like I'm sitting there. You can even see after a couple of seconds, there's a little jolt. You'll notice it right about there. So there is sort of a, a little jolt and the way that you can clean that up is to either record a longer video in this case my video is only between five and ten seconds you could record a video that's three minutes long of you sitting there and that little jolt will become less noticeable so in order for us to create this scene what we are going to want to do is take that media file that you've just recorded and add it into our uh, sources dialog so what we're gonna do we're gonna create a new scene you can name this scene fake webcam, whatever you'd like to name it. You're going to add two sources. You're going to add a video capture device. And for right now, let's just hit cancel on that or OK. And then you're also going to want to add your media source. So you're going to hit plus again, go to media source, hit OK. So now this media source the dialog box, box that pops up is asking you to select that media source. So I'm going to browse to my desktop. Here's my video. Hit OK. And then I want to choose loop because it'll just take that video and keep looping it no matter what. Hit OK. Now you can see there's that video that I showed you before, my looping video. Um, what we're going to do now is we are going to go up to tools click on virtual cam so 
make sure that your target camera is set to OBS camera. You can leave the buffered frames at 14, that's fine. You hit start. Now, essentially what this is doing when this is started is it's fooling your computer into thinking that this OBS dash camera is a webcam. And that OBS dash camera is this image right here being produced behind um, the dialog box. So when I go to call myself on Google Duo, which I'll do right now, I'll call my phone, you can see when the dialog box pops up, you'll see my face in real time, and in the upper right hand corner, you'll see my fake video. So if this is not showing up for you and your webcam is showing up, as you can see here, this is me in real time. Up in the right hand corner, that is me not in real time, it's a fake video. So if you're not seeing this, you're gonna hit the settings, you're going to change your source from your webcam to the OBS camera. And that's it. So there you have it. That's how you create the fake webcam. Um, you're gonna have to open OBS every single time you do that and hit uh, start in the virtual camera plugin. Um, and that's about it. So thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.